Komoi National Park is one of the rare zones in West Africa that has maintained its ecological integrity. It is situated in the northeast of Cote d'Ivoire, a few kilometers from Burkina Faso and Ghana border. Komoi National Park contains around 620 plant species, 135 species of mammals, 35 amphibian species, and 500 bird species. The Komoi River, which runs through the park, explains the presence of group of plants that are usually found further south. Komoi National Park is known not only for its animals, but also its abundant vegetation and in particular woody savanna. It is home to a diversity of habitats, including shrub and wood savannas, gallery and full forests, and riparian grasslands. The property is protected by various national laws implemented by the United Nations Environmental Program. Kamoi National Park has been selected as a case study for sustainability because it is one of the largest protected areas in West Africa which has maintained its ecological integrity. It is characterized with the biological diversity that are in danger because of different human impacts, namely overgrazing and illegal poaching. The focus of the study, sustainable issues, can be learned by monitoring and deep research, which helps to be more aware of current global problems in tourism sector. The most prevalent sustainability issue affecting Komoi National Park is the growth of illegal poaching as a sport, leisure activity and illegal commerce, which has resulted in decreasing animal and vegetation populations. This problem ties hand-in-hand hand with the lack of management and security at the park itself. A potential solution to the highlighted sustainability issue would be an increase in the park's management organization and staff. This is necessary to supply the recommended security and agricultural needs of the animals and the vegetation. An efficient surveillance system throughout the property and the establishment of the participatory management with local communities are required to diminish pressures and impacts associated with the management of areas located on the periphery of the property. The Como National Park needs a boost in its infrastructure and its overall management, which will result in a higher level of care for the grounds, animals, plant life, etc., and supply more jobs for the surrounding communities, bolstering economic benefits as well. A strategic approach to forest management in Cote d'Ivoire must balance the need for access to land for a decent and sustainable livelihood with the need to preserve enough contiguous areas of forest so that the integrity of the ecosystem can be guaranteed.